Okay, today we are going to start our orientation of strategic business leadership (SBL) as per our plan, twenty-first December two thousand twenty-three. First of all, I would like to introduce you about myself. My name is Mohammad Yakub Beg, and I am your tutor for strategic business leader (SBL). Although you know that either you are a new student uh, for the Vertex or you are existing student, that we have two different tutors. One is offering you the recorded lectures, and he is Mr. Ali, and I am Yakub Beg, who will teach you or who will uh, take your live classes throughout the session. I am taking live classes of SPL in Vertex uh, since December two thousand three, two thousand twenty-two, and up till now two thousand twenty-three. So in last four session, uh, I was taking live classes in the Vertex for SPL. My introduction is my name is Muhammad Yakub Beg. I completed my ACCA qualification back in two thousand three. About twenty years ago, in December attempt two thousand three. Later, I completed my SEMA qualification back in two thousand twelve. So almost uh, I would say like eleven and a half years ago in May two thousand twelve. And later, I completed my CFA level one. I am associated with the professional accountancy teaching, especially ACCA. Uh, and the local chartered accountancy body. I have teaching experience of ICAW. I have teaching experience of CMA USA since uh, January two thousand four and up till now. So it's been twenty years since last twenty years. I am associated with the teaching of professional accountancy. So after giving my uh, brief introduction, I would like to move further and I would tell you. What is SBL and how SBL uh, can affect our performance? Not only uh, to pass our this exam, but it can play a significant role in the rest of the professional examination. If SBL is your first paper of professional examination, number of times our students ask us or that. Which one of the papers must do first from the professional examination? I always suggest them go for SBL first, because SBL is a paper which is a completely theoretical examination. It helps you to improve your writing skills. Apart from this, writing skills, its passing percentage, global pass rate of the SBL is quite good. It is in between. Forty-eight percent to fifty-one percent. If global pass rate of a subject falls in between this range, it is undoubtedly a good thing for that particular subject because it gives us an hope that if we will prepare ourselves properly, we will be able to pass our examination in the first attempt. Or alternatively, I can say that. we it gives an a uh, hope to us that there is a room for passing this examination with greater margin spl is a professional examination that's why it is not only based on knowledge knowledge is something which is necessary to understand the examination but basically all the professional exams and especially spl requires application of the knowledge application of knowledge means what if we are studying some so, uh, sort of like uh, models porter five forces like competitive forces uh, like uh, any model porter's diamond or uh, whatever the model is either it is relevant with the cultural web or cultural changes either it is relevant with reconstruction or realignment of the business you are expected to apply your knowledge you are not expected to go to appear in the exam 
and reproduce the knowledge that you memorize your Porter five forces and now you are writing in the actual exam that what the Porter five forces are. You are expected to identify that what is the application of Porter five forces in the given scenario. If all forces five forces are applicable in the given scenario, then you will apply all the five forces. If it is not needed, then you will not apply all the five forces. Then you will apply only one or two relevant forces. So knowledge or application of knowledge is a very important thing which we need to learn in this examination. That's why most of the time I suggest students that go for SBL first and learn that how to apply the knowledge. And if you will do uh, or if you will prepare yourself properly, you will be able to pass your exam uh, effectively or conveniently. At times, the students come with the feedback that, sir, paper was quite general. Quite general paper means what? It was relevant with the uh, some uh, business knowledge. And those who read the case study carefully, those who applied their knowledge carefully, they successfully attempted the exam and they come with the confidence that we will be able to pass the paper. SBL examination basically focuses on three things. First area is strategy. Although it is a strategic business leadership or leaders, so that's why strategy is an important area that strategy is, I would say that core area of SBL and we can expect 40% marks from the strategy. Second core area of the paper is e-business or I would say information technology. So SBL is focusing on what? SBL is focusing on e-business or information technology, e-business or information technology is one of the core or important areas nowadays because it is not possible for a business to grow either locally or globally without the use of information technology. So information technology is very important and it contains number of uh, topics like big data, like uh, supply chain management, it contains uh, rebuilding uh, of Porter Five Forces. <coughs> it contains uh, how to, uh, Porter's uh, value chain has changed in this e-business. What is the role of uh, website uh, in the electronic business? So e-business and information technology is very important. And the third important area is I would say that governance or risk management. Governance and risk management. Governance focuses on what? Governance focuses on internal controls. It focuses on strengths of the internal control and we want uh, from our management or we expect from our middle management and senior management that they will play their significant role towards the the strengthen of the internal control system, or they will play a significant role towards the uh, control environment or internal control environment where all the senior management members or tactical managers will feel themselves accountable in front of shareholders and especially in front of stakeholders. And risk management is very important area now in all the businesses that what kind of risks can a, a business can face. And we expect from a business that business will try to make strategies which can help to reduce the risk or which can help to avoid the risk or which one of the risks which are mitigated by the business, otherwise business cannot continue and which one of the risks are the one which business will transfer to someone else. And someone else could be the insurance company that we are transferring our uh, risk towards the insurance company. So you can expect rest of the 30 marks from the governance or risk management. Now it is possible that suppose in actual examination, if it is in between 40 to 45% 
मे बी इट इज लाइक थर्टी परसेंट और हेडिंग टू वर्ड द लोअर साइड ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट बट आई थिंक सो ई बिजनेस विल रिमेन समवेयर इन बिटवीन थर्टी टू थर्टी फाइव परसेंट बिकॉज इट इज वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर द एग्जामिनर एंड एग्जामिनर वॉन्ट्स टू Uh, ask number of aspects of the e business or information technology although risk management is also important so that's why uh, it is not necessary that it will be less than the 30% uh, marks maybe possible examiner will create a cushion from the strategy and a strategy will be for 35 it will be for 35 and rest of the 30 will come from governance and risk management but the important thing is the whole syllabus is tested by the examiner and i would say that examiner always provides a fair chance to the candidates to pass the examination apart from this now we need to understand that how our paper or how 100 marks are divided as we know that 100 marks or 100% of the uh, marks are tested by the examiner these 100 marks or 100% is divided into two one is 80% is divided in or considered as your paper your your examination that you are attempting or you are writing paper for 80% marks and rest of the 20% deals with the professional skills previously sbl was the only paper in which examiner was used to to give professional marks uh, professional skills marks for 20 marks but all now examiner is giving an opportunity in all the paper to students in all professional papers to get 20% professional skills marks professional skills marks basically providing us a great opportunity to pass the exam why because professional skill to skills are containing a significant portion out of 100 20% and if we are successfully managing these 20% professional skills marks i hope so that in the actual exam a good student can manage 12 13 marks out of this 20 percent it 80 percent marks are based on the knowledge suppose in the task 1 examiner is going to ask you a question for 16 marks and rest of the four marks are the professional marks so there is a question or part a is tested for the 20 marks now how to secure maximum marks out of this 20% professional skills marks first you need to know that how to apply the knowledge as i told you earlier that application of knowledge is very important here in sbl you are required to learn that how to apply the knowledge so 20% professional marks are based on what these are based on application of knowledge so that's why we need to do what we need to make sure that how will we secure maximum marks examiner always says that whenever students will be build a relationship between their answer and the case study relationship between their answer and case study then they will be able to secure maximum marks from the professional skills marks relationship between case study and answer i observe in every session that a few students come with a significant preparation and they are always trying to do what they are always trying to make sure that they write the appropriate answer but they do not able to get more than 50 52 53% marks uh, when they are attempting tests or when they are attempting assignments and they always ask me 
uh, sir, why are we not getting more marks? And my answer is always that you are unable or you did not build your relationship of the answer with the case study. You simply write an answer that uh, like what is the Porter's diamond force, the Porter's diamond model, or you wrote what is the Porter's value chain. There are primary activities. There are secondary activities. You are providing the heading of primary activities. You are explaining the primary activities, but you are not telling that where this application of the primary activities in the given scenario. It is not necessary that all five primary activities will be applicable, but maybe two are relevant there or three are relevant there. So please make a relationship between primary activities with the case study and how it can play a role towards the organization and how it can give so competitive advantage to the organization or how it can lead to success to the organization. Until or unless you will not build your relationship with the case study, you will not be able to secure more than 50, 51, 52 marks, or maybe possible if one of the students is uh, like uh, unsuccessful in the exam, this could be the reason. Next very important thing is time management. It is very important in the SBL examination that you need to attempt whole 100 marks. You need to attempt whole 100 marks. If you are not attempting, if you are not attempting 100% paper, it means you are losing your opportunity to pass in the examination. Maybe you attempted 90% of the paper, but you attempted 90% in an excellent way. And you are 90% uh, 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 like I would say that attempt was quite excellent. And you could not uh, complete rest of the 10% due to your excessive writing for the first 90 marks, then there are great chances or significant chances that you will pass your exam. But if your answer is quite average answer for the 90% of the marks, then it will be difficult for you to secure 50%. So it is very much important to manage your time and to improve your time management, what will we do, what Vertex will do, and how we can help you to improve your time management and how we can help you to pass your examination. Definitely, we are providing you recorded lectures, which is the first part or first step towards the preparation. But recorded lecture is the, are the one which can help you to give knowledge. Apart from this recorded lectures, we added in our syllabus practice question and answer. Now I would show you at the end of the session that in our each chapter, at the end of the chapter, there is at least one practice question and answer recording both are available. But we are not restricting ourselves towards the practice question and answer, basically our objective of live classes is also to do as much practice as you can. If I talk about the recent past session or the last session, I remember I took almost nine to 10 live sessions. 10th live session was relevant with the pre-seen material. And in nine sessions, I discussed almost 14, 15 questions from the exam kit. If you multiply 15 questions with the 25 marks, you can calculate that almost 350, 400 marks we did in the class. So 400 marks means four past papers if we divide it by 100. Live classes focus is what? Live classes focus is exam kit question. My focus is not to do the revision of the topic because you have already learned the topic from the recorded lecture. And now you, you have already uh, like uh, memorized the 
model or the relevant concept now what you what you need to do what you need to learn that how to apply this knowledge so to help the application or to uh, or we want you to learn how to apply the knowledge that's why we will do exam kit questions with you in the live classes apart from this live classes exam kit question we will do exam kit question we are planning to take four assignments you can see our activity schedule on the website and we also took four assignments in the last session i remember in between june to september i took uh, almost uh, six seven uh, assignments uh, and same as with the previous session but now we have four assignments and we will provide you three progress tests and you can see the topics and uh, of progress test and assignments on our website both the uh, items or both the things are given you can read your uh, date that what is the date of uh, assignment when to submit and when you will get the feedback on it what is the topic for the assignment what is the topic for the test what is the uh, like uh, it's uh, uh, submission date and when will you receive your feedback none of our student can say that he or she did not receive feedback of the assignments or of the progress test or of the mock at the end of the uh, session or during the session even uh, we provided support to the students who attempted acca mock exams and they asked me sir please check my acca mock mock exam i marked their mock acca mock exams as well so one mock exam is provided by us to them and a few of them submitted me two mocks and similarly a few students were not pretty much confident about themselves so they submitted more than two or three papers and they received feedback for all the papers so you will be tested by vertex seven, eight times there will be four assignments and three progress tests weighted of these assignments of four progress test will be in between 25 to 30 marks and you will send your answer through email to vertex and to me as well or otherwise you can just send to vertex and vertex can uh, forward it to me and you will receive your feedback on your email apart from this we always upload answers of the assignment and progress test after the submission date or after the completion of the marking to those students who could not appear attempt the assignment or could not attempt the test due to their professional commitment or they could not manage the preparation but later they want to uh, Uh, solve the assignment or they want to attempt the test they will get the opportunity and they can see their answer they can do marking on their own or even they can ask us those who are already in vertex uh, sbl group you guys know uh, know that we provided opportunity to uh, students time and again that go and attempt the uh, assignment go and attempt the test and we always extend the date and provide an opportunity so that student must feel confident before appearing in exams one mock exam will be held uh, like uh, on 20th of february or 22nd of february and there will be a maximum uh, submission date on the uh, answer receipt date will be like 27 or 28th of february so we want you to attempt mock and Yes. Look at your mistakes, and then appear for the exams. And you will get feedback as soon as or as timely. You will submit your assignment, your test, and mock exams. Very important thing is attendance in the live classes. I observed in my uh, last sessions that those students who were regular in the live classes, they completed their syllabus. with me because on every week i was announcing in the group 
that in next week suppose we will do questions from the <coughs> cultures culture or in next week we will do question from like governance or in next week we will do question from e business they were used to to listen recorded lectures of those uh, particular chapters or topics and they they attended the live classes with point they were able to understand the requirement of the questions and answers because they already completed their recordings uh, with me and they attempted their assignment they participated in test and in the mock exam and a re recent result is not available it will be available in the month of january then i will be able to communicate you how many of them passed their exam successfully especially those who participated in the live classes in fact i would say that what i uh, which i remember that all those who attempted final exams were almost regular in the live classes and their their feedback was positive after the examination let's see what would be the result so your participation here in live class your participation timely in the assignments your participation in the test and your participation in the mock exam ultimately will lead you to success because time and again you are testing yourself you are giving me an opportunity to teach you live uh, questions and answers in the live classes and you are giving me an opportunity to test your knowledge and application of knowledge uh, after almost every week and i am giving you feedback on it and you will be able to improve yourself maybe possible in the first assignment you are getting only 10 marks out of 25 marks but in the second assignment you are improving in the third assignment you have improved yourself more and we observed in the last sessions that most of the students those who could not perform well in one or two assignments but later they improved themselves significantly and they secured good marks in the mock examination and in actual exam so this is what which is needed towards the success of the sbl as i told you earlier that it is not very much difficult to pass sbl exam but you need what you need two things one you need time management that you must complete your 100 marks paper within due time so second important thing is you must need to know that what is meant by application of knowledge and application of knowledge means when you are attempting exam then you should build your relationship between case study and the answer as long as or as soon as uh, you will rebuild your relationship of case study and the answer you will get good marks or you will secure good marks right everyone any question before moving further okay so now one more important thing i would like to tell you about as that is whatsapp support whatsapp support of the vertex is quite good most of the time me and me or mr ali is responding to whatsapp questions if you are asking anything on the whatsapp or if you are asking anything about the class we always try to respond our students on a timely basis but we live on the different time zones so that's why it is possible that uh, you are you will get your answer like after 4 hours after 5 hours but you don't feel that someone or we are ignoring your quest queries and you will not get response on it you will get response on it because we are not interacting with uh, with each other face to face or in any live class that's why we think that whatsapp support is very important and whatsapp plays a very important role between us and our student and it helps us to build relationship with each other 
it has gives us an opportunity to understand the need of any specific student or uh, a few grow uh, students or a group of students and then we can customize our service with respect to our students needs if possible we will held a live class on every thursday and time for the live class will be same 8 pm uae time vertex is also providing you study notes apart from recorded lectures so you will be able to uh, read all the required knowledge of a chapter in your complete notes at times students do not have uh, sufficient time to read the study text because they are busy in their professional commitments in their job and they are unable to manage too much uh, time during the week for the recorded lecture for the live class for assignment for test and uh, study text then what do they do they go and read the complete or all the notes and they try to memorize the different models because wherever the application of the model is needed they will be able to apply the model but one very important thing a few students think that if there are 35 36 different models in the paper they must need to memorize all the model and they must need to apply all the models it is not necessary or it is not needed may be possible you will get an exam uh, in december and there will be no use of model and completely a, a general examination is asked by the examiner you are required to read the questions you are required to understand the case study and or exhibits and then apply your knowledge as per the requirement of the examiner as we know that in the spl exam acc has changed its uh, examination pattern and previously acc was uh, asking a complete uh, 100 marks question paper during the examination and examination time was 4 hours but now examination time has changed and examination time is 3 hours and 15 minutes and from september 2023 acca is providing us pre seen material what is this pre seen material pre seen material is the is information about industry about history of the company what company is doing right now and what would what are the future plans of the organization pre seen material will be provided by acca almost 15 days ago before examination and now when a pre seen material will be available uh, during the month of february after availability of pre seen material we will have a live class in that but uh, live class we will discuss pre seen material that what is the uh, history of the organization what are the achievements of the organization up till now what are the plans of the organization and how examiner can ask question from uh, this uh, pre seen material although during examination examiner will provide you exhibits you will read the exhibits and on the basis of exhibits he will ask question and you will be able to answer those questions but pre seen material will help you to understand the nature of industry may be possible examiner is discussing an industry which is growing globally so if you want to get or if you want to gather some information about that particular industry you can uh, from uh, google or you can use any other source of information to gather information for that particular industry or otherwise with the help of pre seen material what can we do we can prepare ourselves that what kind of examination can uh, be asked by the examiner september 2023 was the first attempt uh, so that's why most of the tutors and the the students were not able to predict that what could would be the questions or what could be the questions in the actual examination 
But now in December 2023, we were also able to highlight a few points that these could be the points which will be asked by examiner in the actual exam. And when our students came back and they provided us feedback in the group, a few things or a few poor tasks were as per expectations which we discussed in our pre-seen class. So we will have a discussion on pre-seen material which is provided by ACCA 15 days ago. Once we will discuss in the class and then you are expected to read once or twice after the class or at your home before the examination to memorize a few things about the organization which can help you to write your answer. So this is the whole story of the SBL. This is the whole story of the Vertex, what, what Vertex offers you. This is the story of uh, live classes and how I will help you towards the examination. Uh, now we will move further, but before moving further, is if you have any question, you can ask me. Okay. In case study. Yes, please ask the like, question. Yes. I would like to know whether there'll be a session where you take us to the present case study for the March 2024 attempt. And then um whether we'll, we'll have discussions in that area to prepare us before the paper. Yes. Okay. Actually, purpose of uh, discussion on the pre-seen material is to identify what important points or important aspects are provided by the examiner in the pre-seen material. So on the basis of those important aspects, we can predict that this could be the question in actual exam. And maybe possible are all predictions will get correct maybe 30-40% will be correct, but even if it is 30-40% are correct, it means we are already prepared with those topics or very well prepared with those topics. And now we can secure as much marks as we can out of at least those 40%. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any other question? Okay. As you know that if you are already Vertex students, we always follow BPP study text and its sequence. So are all the recorded lectures are based on BPP study text. So that's why I am sharing you the content page of the BPP workbook that it starts from introduction to stage number one, effective leadership. Leadership is what? Leadership is the one who plays significant role towards the, the strategy of the organization or leadership is the one who plays significant role towards the mission statement or vision of the organization. See, effective leadership will do what? They will develop a long-term strategy. They will contribute towards the uh, achievement of mission statement or vision they will provide guidance. They will help to develop a culture of innovation, culture of change management where needed. They will take care of all the stakeholders, not only the shareholders. They always contribute towards the social responsibility like greenery, environmental protection. They always focus on strong internal control system because they think that they are held accountable in front of all the stakeholders or especially shareholders. In the stage two, optimizing strategic decisions. Optimizing means what we are trying to now ma maximize the profit of the organization by using our strategic decisions. Our focus is what? Our focus is external environment. External environment is what? External environment is the external business environment, uh, which includes uh, political, economical, social, technological, ecological, legal. It focuses on strategic capabilities. 
that what are the long term capabilities are held by the organization right now and how these capabilities can contribute towards the success of the organization next we have competitive advantage competitive advantage can be gathered or can be earned by the organization if they are having good strategic capability so competitive advantage is the one which will give us the advantage over the competitors and it can help us to gather more customers or it can help us to increase our market share and strategic choice means what what options of growth are available we have option to grow uh, by using organic growth we can acquire competitor in the new market or in existing market we can go in the joint ventures we can grow with the help of strategic alliances we can grow by franchising so there are different strategic choices next one is introduction to stage 3 assessing and managing risk and ethical issues assessing and managing risk first of all we should be able to assess the risk how risk can affect our organization to it can risk can affect our business or risk can affect our profitability and how an organization will manage it risk management means what either you will accept the risk either you will reject the risk either you will transfer the risk or either you will like uh, uh, try to a uh, deviate from the risk which can, which will not affect the, your organization and second very important thing is internal control system which is an aspect an aspect of auditing that if you want to minimize your risk or you want to control your risk or you want to make sure that there will be no material misstatement or there will be no material fraud then you must place a strong internal control system or a strong internal control environment which can help you to avoid uh, material misstatements or material frauds then application of ethical principle ethical principle includes what it includes integrity it includes objectivity it includes professional competence and due care it includes uh, uh, like uh, Uh, management role towards the uh, ethical promotion so the different ethical five different ethicals of the acca principle or ethical principles are used by the organization uh, towards the uh, management or towards the management uh, internal control system because if our accountant or if our auditor internal auditor external auditor both are performing in an ethical way then we will be able to strengthen our internal control system we will be able to assess and manage our risks timely then introduction to stage 4 evaluating and enabling strategic uh, uh, change financial analysis financial analysis focuses on financial ratios and at times in sbl examiner asks a question which is completely relying on the financial ratios and you are required to make a assessment on the basis of financial ratios although it is not usually asked by the examiner but examiner can ask question from here application of information technology is very important use of big data is very important velocity veracity variety uh, so volume then uh, uh, recency of the customer frequency of the customer what amount is paid or incurred by the customer when the customer is visiting uh, our business how repeatedly customer is coming to us then supply chain management buy side sell side business to business consumer to business business to consumer consumer to consumer so these are the different aspects of the e business and information technology which are very important for the business and i asked you that maybe there will be 25 to 30% marks in the examination from these two not maybe surely there will be at least 25 marks then introduction to state 5 implementing strategic change strategic change means long term change either you are converting your business from 
manual business to automation or you are converting your your business from automation to enterprise resource planning you are enabling success and strategic change you know that it is not possible for a business to grow without implementing change you are as focus is to redesigning and reengineering of the processes then you will be relevant in the market otherwise you have to face the strategic drift and lastly project management project management means what if you want to implement the change it is a it is completely a project and you cannot implement change without having project management skills or project management capabilities similarly if you are trying to uh, apply or trying to implement online sales previously if you are not having a website you don't have e-commerce now you are developing a website or e-commerce it is completely a project and you need to manage this project in an efficient way so that you will get your desired results so this is the sequence of the bpp workbook and this is the sequence of vertex recorded lectures so we will do questions in this sequence like i would suggest you suppose uh, if, if i say uh, today or tomorrow that before next thursday you are expected to listen the recording of these two chapters and we will do questions in the class or listen the recording of these three chapters then i suggest you listen do to these two then six and seven and we will do questions in that particular sequence our more focus will be bpp exam kit but apart from this we can use kaplan exam kit as well when we will be like at the stage of uh, i would say like mid of february then what will we i do i will share recordings with you and i will uh, uh, give you a uh, opportunity to listen past examination questions and answers may there will be at least two to two, three past examination questions and answers and i will also provide you recording for the pre seen material of september and pre seen material of december so that you will be able to understand that what kind of pre seen material you will face in your uh, upcoming attempt and when by the mid of february we will have the pre seen material then we will definitely <clears throat> make a video on that present material any question <clears throat> okay now we are uh, heading towards the next level of the discussion which is acca professional marks as i told you that 20% of the professional marks are available so 20% marks can play what 20% marks can play a significant role it can help me uh, to pass my exams uh, so what five skills i needed to know first i need to know communication skills examiner will provide you a statement that use communication skills in your answer and he will give you either two marks three marks or more for most probably four marks to express yourself clearly and convincingly through an appropriate medium while being sensitive to the needs of the intended audience who is intended audience examiner will say you that you are writing a report for the cfo or you are writing a report for the board of directors or you are writing a report for the ceo so these they are your intended audience you will communicate directly or clearly with your audience you will inform them you will persuade them and you will clarify that what they are expecting or what they want to listen from you if they ask you to provide as conclusion then you will provide conclusion second one is commercial acumen commercial means what somehow you are assessing financial performance to show awareness of the wider business and external factors business factors and external factors 
business factors and external factors will affect the business and it will affect ultimately in the profitability and use commercially sound judgments and insight to resolve issues and exploit opportunities so commercial acumen means your focus is to identify and exploitation of opportunities on a timely basis to maximize wealth or profitability you are expected to demonstrate awareness uh, that you are aware about the external business environment use judgment how it can affect your business and show insight that what must be the next step of the organization towards growth or towards the success third one is analysis to thoroughly investigate and research information from a variety of sources and logically process it with a view to considering it for recommending appropriate action first one is investigate investigate means what first of all you need to investigate or analyze that what you are looking for or what you are expecting third second one is inquire inquire means what you are asking a few questions or you are inquiring uh, something like uh, before making any conclusion and then you will like consider or make any conclusion on the basis of analysis here he's told you that thoroughly investigate and research information from a variety of sources not only the internal sources and logically process it with a view to consider it for recommending appropriate action as i told you that where recommendation or conclusion is needed you will provide your recommendation or conclusion towards the uh, intended audience then skepticism skepticism means what it is relevant with the governance you questioning mind you are looking someone with the doubt that either uh, he or she can expect uh, sorry can meet your expectations or not maybe someone is making fraud to probe probe means questioning challenging for challenge information and views presented to you and to fully understand business issues and to establish facts objectively based on ethical and professional values so probing and questioning and challenging are needed in the skepticism basically skepticism is relevant with what skepticism is relevant with assessment and i would say management of risk or apart from this i can say that it focuses on internal control weaknesses it focuses on governance this is skepticism then we have evaluation to assess situation proposals and argument in a balanced way using professional and ethical judgment to predict future outcomes to predict future outcome and consequences as a basis of sound decision making evaluation means assessment then make estimation and then appraise appraise means ultimately we are calculating on the basis of financial in fact i would say that appraisal means what we are calculating net present value so evaluation to assess situations proposal and argument in a balanced way using professional and ethical judgment to predict future outcomes you are not expected that you are going to uh, tell the management that there will be significant profits with the uh, like uh, decisions you should uh, communicate management in a uh, thorough way uh, in an ethical way that there could be suppose 15% return on capital employed or 17% return on capital employed we cannot expect that 20% 22% because we are working in a, a competitive environment or we are comparing ourselves with the competitors and we are assessing that do we have enough competitive advantage which can attract most of the customers or not so this is what which is the part of the evaluation these are the five skills which are needed to uh, attempt in the exam with due care and we can secure good marks out of these five communication skills
further most of the student says that what are meant by those words like advice on demonstrating these skills read the requirement suppose question is saying advice what is meant by advice what is analyze what is assessment what is dis discuss how to uh, differentiate these verbs in the actual examination or while attempting assignments or i would say like uh, while attempting uh, papers so how it can play advice this is this requires you to provide someone with the useful information or to tell them what you think they should do based on a consideration of the issues presented in a scenario analyze means what this requires you to break an issue into separate part this is called analysis and discuss examiner or examine or interpret each part this may require you to give reasons for the current situation or what has happened assess means what judge the importance or estimate the nature quality and significance of an issue to do this consider the strengths and weaknesses consider the strengths and weaknesses of the issues under discussion discuss means what you are providing pros and cons of an issue so every verb has its own meaning in such type of examination where your writing skills must be very strong you must know that what are the meaning of these verbs what is meant by evaluation evaluation means a balanced discussion of an issue looking both the positive and negative aspects explain means what making an idea clear and could require you for example show logically how a concept is developed or give the reason for an event recommend if you are asked to recommend then you are expected to use detail presented in the exhibit to create a logical and justified course of action then read the scenario read the requirement again exam success skills identify keywords and marks allocation play a plan any conclusion if needed then take time to plan in sufficient detail this is very important thing which you need to understand i always say to the students that when you are appearing in the exams or when you are attempting assignments or when you are attempting tests after reading the whole case study and after reading the requirement you must need to make a sketch in your mind that how to start my answer or while reading case study it is important to highlight all the important points and when you are starting your answer follow the sequence of the case study or follow the sequence of the important points in your answer and then what can you do you can conclude that either my answer is uh, like uh, good or with respect to the requirements of the uh, i would say uh, examiner requirement or it is not fulfilling or meeting the examiner requirement so first you need to plan in your mind and then start writing of your answer a few students always uh, don't plan the answer and they immediately start writing and just after two three lines they are now stop and thinking for a few points and then when they conclude their answer they are writing everything they provided to the examiner what is needed but not in order their order was is very messy and messy leads to what messy leads to either 50% or less you will lose your question or you will lose your exam just because not to plan properly so please plan your answers properly read questions carefully then make a sketch in your mind and then start writing of your answer and write the relevant uh, points
then exam success skill 4 requires what efficient numerical analysis we are needed use a standard performer working we are relevant show your working keep moving these are basically the necessary things which are needed by the a sbl examiner in the actual exam and we are required to do what we are required to follow uh, all these things then we can get maximum marks here he says that identify appropriate format for your writing written work then you should use subheadings then write your answer in short punchy sentences or i, I use the word of flowery words use flowery words in your answers to make your answer attractive examiner will uh, be attractive towards your answer while reading because of the words so these are the important things which needs to consider extend your point with depth i uh, this is what which is very important to understand students usually say that sir if there is a question for 10 marks are we required to uh, 10 points on it i always say not necessarily first understand the uh, uh, marking a scheme when you are doing questions from the exam kit or from the past paper suppose you are writing the six points or seven point for the 10 marks each and every point must be complete start your point from a certain level and complete your point or go till end you are not going supposed to leave your point incomplete or you are not expected to leave anything incomplete because it gives a very bad impression to the examiner so that's why you need to understand that how much depth is needed for this particular point so that's why follow this step uh, apart from them this what you are needed you need to manage your time as well that you have like uh, 19.5 minutes i think for 10 marks then your answer you should sum up your answer within the that within the due time within the duration why because if you will not be able to end your paper or within good time management here good time management is uh, do, to going to be discussed then suppose you did 90 marks uh, within 2 uh, hours 50 minutes or within the 3 hours you have now just 15 minutes and you are required to attempt 10 marks now you will mess up with the answer and you will write the number of points whatever you can write and you are trying to uh, fill the lines a few will be meaningful a few will be meaningless and these 10 marks messy answer can lead you to unsuccessful result so that's why avoid this and stick to mark and time allocations as i told you that for 10 marks if you have 19.5 minutes follow this follow your answer plan as i told you that this is the answer plan which is in your mind you make a sketch in your mind keep an eye on the clock computer based examination is going to be held so these are the care which you are expected to do before the uh, examination during the examination and you are trying to make sure that you will be successful in the actual exam when you are completing your answer after 3 hours 15 minutes you attempted all the 100 marks and you uh, did uh, your best or as much as you can right everyone now any question anyone you can write in the chat box even okay so no one has no question 
so if you don't have any question right now you can ask anything in the whatsapp group uh, now we will have next class on the next thursday 8 pm ue time i will inform you in the group before every class that what chapters you are expected to complete